Hey, boys and girls, it's great to see you. Hopefully you are doing well. Yes, I'm wearing some bright colors for a reason. And that is because we're continuing in our, wait for it, wait for it, series. That's right, where we learn some of the foundations of our faith, and hopefully we can memorize these so they can help us in the future. Well, we've been talking about how do we know that there's a God, and now that we know there's a God, how can we know God? How can we begin a relationship with him? How can we know God? Well, the cool thing is, is that God has revealed himself through general revelation and special revelation. You're like, say, what? What's general revelation? What's special revelation? Well, the reason I wore my bright and beautiful colors today, and I'm standing in front of a green wall, and I have even more colors on on the inside, is that God did not make this world in just plain old pencil drawing and sketches. It is truly in living color. And what's cool about a world in living color is that uh, it's not just black and white. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna stick it inside here and talk about what is general revelation. What is general revelation? Well, general revelation is the stuff you can see around you. It's like the sky, the, the stars, the, the heavens, the, the whales, the ocean, the butterfly, the super cool colors that God created. But this is what's so cool is that the things that God created aren't just wimpy. They just aren't, you know, one little small thing, but they just keep going and going and going and going and going. And everywhere you look all around us is God revealing himself to us in what we call general revelation. Are we there yet? Pretty amazing. God is awesome. So, once again, can you see inside there? Can you see inside there? Yes. How about, can you see inside? Oh, hey, look at that. So that's general revelation. And then we have special revelation. And special revelation is where God has revealed himself to us in the word of God. He's actually told us about himself, told us about creation, told us about many different things. However, the interesting thing about that is that we have to read God's word to get special revelation, to, to see what he said. And most people, they just look at the Bible. They never open it up. And they just assume the inside is full of blank pages. And then some people, they come to church and they're like, oh man, I wish I was at the football game today. Why do I have to go to church? And when they listen to uh, their teacher talk, it's just kind of in black and white. It's like, eh, whatever. But the cool thing is, once again, colors everywhere. God has revealed himself to us in his word, and it's in color. It's vivid. It's alive. It's alive today. It's not some old book that was just in the past, and uh, they wrote down some good things like ancient Chinese proverbs. These are things that you can pattern your life upon. And boys and girls, my prayer for you is that you would get to know God, and the best way that you can get to know God is by reading the Bible. Reading the Bible on your own. So I encourage you, start reading the Bible on your own. Take a section, a whole section, and try to read it. Don't just read a verse or two, uh, because it'll get boring. But if you read a whole section, it's exciting. I remember I would look down and I would find the stories of David, or the stories of Daniel, or the stories of Joseph and uh, read through those and you see how man needs God and how God has revealed himself to man. So my prayer for you is that you would live a life in living color. So with that, I need for you to remember with me our saying, how can we know God? God has revealed himself to us through general revelation and special revelation. How can we know God? God has revealed himself to us through general revelation and special revelation. Good job.